Hi, it's Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert here. And I get the question sometimes, what's the future of VHS tapes? Now, a little bit about VHS. VHS was, uh, well, it actually stands for Video Home Systems. It came out at the same time. It was uh, produced by the JVC Corporation uh, around the same time that Sony Corp came out with Betamax, yeah. Uh, beta, the, 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 of course, the 80s war between uh, Beta and VHS um, well, made famous. Um, obviously, we know that VHS won that war. But it was kind of a draw if you really look at it because Beta, changing over to Beta, Beta Cam, Beta Cam SP, really found a home in the professional format. During that same period of time that you were buying VHS tapes, uh, news organizations and local broadcasts were using a lot of Beta Cam and Beta Max tapes as a, as a primary broadcast source. Um, in reality, as just a side note, Beta was better in just about every way you could rate a uh, video home system. Uh, except for the fact that it cost more and a little bit of tidbit of information, the adult entertainment industry adopted VHS, so that's why, uh, um, so that's why a lot of uh, places that rented video cassettes uh, adopted VHS and so on and so forth. So, uh, you know who to thank for that. But on to this, we all have a giant collection of VHS tapes at the house. Here's my personal collection of, or personal copy of Breaking 2 Electric Boogaloo. So what is the future held for the VHS tape? Pretty much it. VHS is, a, is an analog format, and it's done on a magnetic tape, which will start to degradate over time. If you pull out one of your very first uh, cassette tapes, uh, VHS tapes that you've had, and you start to play it, every time you play it, every time you leave a section on pause, and if you just leave it alone, you're going to start to see that the thinner tapes, and a lot of times we chose inexpensive tapes to record our favorite television programs, uh, will start to deteriorate. It does have a shelf life, and it is starting to break down. So you've got two choices there. One is you've got to make a dub, moving it onto your uh, uh, computer or digital hard drive. That can be done uh, pretty straightforward and easily, um, but that's pretty much it. Or decide to, re to replace it. Now, I've got a, a real quandary. I've got quite a collection, but sometimes I'll just pick up a used DVD version of it and then try to get rid of it. It breaks my heart to go through my collection and literally uh, throw old movies away since I spent so much time trying to collect them. But the future of it is, well, you know. So if it's important stuff to you, don't forget to dub it over and keep it forever. Like me! Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert, saying, stream you later.